Hey everybody, in this vlog, I'm gonna talk about HTML5 mobile apps versus native mobile apps. Native, I mean writing apps for iOS in Objective-C or Swift, or writing Android apps in Java. And a question that comes up every now and then is, will HTML5 replace native app development? Uh, not 100%, but quite a bit. And that's because HTML5 app development for mobile is uh, very, very, very uh, capable. And in fact, the vast majority of apps being developed for mobile uh, devices can be done nicely with HTML5 based technology. That means HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript combined with some sort of a framework like PhoneGap and there are others out there which are free to use. And why would this replace native cost, cost savings? If, for instance, you want to develop a business app for some clients, some small business, some medium sized, some large business, you can, if you do it natively, you're gonna to have to write it for iOS. So these days you're gonna do Swift. And then you're gonna to have to write it from scratch, once again, in Java for Android. And what happens if, uh, I don't know, Windows phone comes around? I don't think that's gonna happen, but you know, whatever, some other phone, then you got another language you're gonna to have to write uh, the app in. On the other hand, if you write it with HTML5 based technology, then you just write it once and you're done, it's over. So some of you are saying, well, how, what about performance stuff? Performance of native written apps are gonna be better than web, uh, for sure, but, it really depends on the type of app you're developing. If you're developing a game that's intense in terms of the graphics, yes, of course, you're gonna drop down into native. Again, for Android, that would be Java. For iOS, that would be Swift. On the other hand, most apps that are being developed for mobile don't require that much horsepower. You can do it all quite nicely in HTML5. And this is not speculation on my part. Why do I say that? Because I've spoken to people who work for very large organizations. Even the bigs now are stopping, for the most part, native app development, and they're going the HTML5 route or the web stack route to develop mobile apps. So if you wanted to get into the mobile app development world, I would suggest that you learn HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript first, and then get into phone back gap or some other framework with help that adapts your adopts or adapts rather your html5 code base so that it becomes a mobile app the other advantage of learning the web stack for mobile app development is that you've learned the web stack now you can get into other types of development you can get into web development you can get into web app development you can take that into wordpress development so by learning the web stack first you basically open up many opportunities for yourself in terms of development jobs. So uh, that's it for now.